So the largest franchise, scratch out, the largest retail company in the world by location count is potentially up for sale. First, you have Subway that just a couple months ago said that they're up for sale and now you have 7-Eleven. So in today's video, we're gonna go through a little bit about the, the history of 7-Eleven and what got the brand to this stage where they're potentially for sale and some of the strategic investors want a change. So 7&I Holdings is the parent company of 7-Eleven. It's considering a sell of the convenience store chain. The company has still not made a final decision on the sale, but sources say they are in potential talks with quite a few private equity funds. 7&I Holdings is under pressure from two of the shareholders to spin off 7-Eleven, which has about 9,500 namesake stores in the United States. The company is also parent of the 3,800 store Speedway and then the 500 unit Stripe C store chains. The convenience store industry has been facing really tough competition Competition, online retailers, other brick and mortar stores. This is big news for franchising and a big news for the convenience store industry as a whole. With COVID-19 and the pandemic and the after effects, the convenience store foot traffic, especially in the US, has declined as well as sales. If this sale does go through, franchisees as well as employees of the chain can be really affected. We've reviewed a few other Japanese owned franchises like Kumon, where we've seen an could be a coincidence, but you have 7-Eleven that has a very strange kind of way that franchisees pay royalties from the gross profit. And then you have Kumon where royalties are 20%, 25%. And it's also a pretty complicated formula. So two Japanese owned franchisees, franchise brands rather, that are pretty strong in the US market that don't have very straightforward royalties. So it could be a blessing if there's a new buyer and they just go with a more traditional franchising model in terms of how royalty payments are made to the franchisor. So 7-Eleven as it stands now was founded in 1946 as Southland and it was rebranded as, as 7-Eleven after adjusting their operating hours from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eventually they adjusted to 24 hours a day. They started franchising 7-Eleven in 1964 and went public in 1972 where their sites on Asia and particularly in Japan, they entered the Japanese market with Masatoshi Ito, who acquired the rights for the whole country, and the first 7-Eleven opened in Japan in 1974. Masatoshi Ito passed away at the age of 98 in March 2023. His company Ito Yakado had bought 70% more or less of Southland in 1991 with a $430 million cash injection. Ito Yukado is now restructured as 7&I Holdings, and it's the largest retailer by number of locations in the world. Bigger than heavyweights like McDonald's, Starbucks with 35,000 locations, Subway with about 37,000 locations, as well as KFC that's owned by Yum Brands. So what's the deal? First Subway's up for sale, and now 7-Eleven? What's next? McDonald's gets taken private? 